Hi guys, this is Simeon. We just bought a frame for a new greenhouse tunnel. So most of you guys have seen the greenhouse that we have built ourselves. We built it out of wood. We glued um, the bows and it's seven meters wide. And um, you can check out this video right here if you want to know how we built this greenhouse. It was a nice project and I have to admit that originally I was never for greenhouses. It was somehow, yeah, I didn't like them. And it was my parents who pushed that, who wanted to have the greenhouse. And I'm very, very thankful towards them that they did that because um, afterwards I learned so much about greenhouses. And um, you see this frame that we have here behind us now. It's a greenhouse frame that's four meters by 10 meters. And if you buy this greenhouse new, it would cost about 16,000 Swedish crowns. That's about 18 or 1900 dollars. And we bought this frame used for um, a thousand Swedish crowns. So maybe 120 dollars. So that is a really, really good deal. We just have to buy um, the, the um, plastic for it, the cover, which will cost about 1500 Swedish crowns, about 180 US dollars. So I'm really excited. So um, because it's so narrow, it's only four meters wide, um, you couldn't just do a half circle like we have in our other greenhouse because um, you couldn't, it would be too low. So in this one, you can see. It's straight first and then the bow starts and I think in the middle it's two and a half meters about high. So yeah, very exciting. We're going to unload it now here. So we have parked the frame here for right now you can see the height here like this and I think I could make it higher if I for example wanted to have chickens in here I could build a wooden frame on the bottom where the bedding would be um, and and lift it up a bit off the ground there's one meter between each frame and that's less than at our greenhouse I think we have a meter and fifty or a meter twenty, I'm not sure right now, between our bows. And um, I think this is very stable and for a little bit over a hundred dollars, it's an amazing deal. You see, these here that I'm leaning against, they are the actual doors. <laughs> and I don't know yet how the plastic will be connected to these because Let's take a look together at our greenhouse that we built. I want to show you how we did it there. So here you can see how we put the plastic just around the corners here and it's dug into the ground. Here we folded it together and now it has stretched out a bit from warm and cold weather but it's just all tucked into the ground so the wind doesn't have anywhere to take a hold of this. And then here you can just see how we have the little window up there with the cylinder that opens by itself when it gets too hot in there for the main heat until we are able to do our morning chores and then we come and we open up both doors. We built these two doors in here. Here in the front you can open um, four individual sections and on the other side you just have two big doors um, but we can drive in here with a tractor and that's how we um, circulate the greenhouse in the summertime both sides are open plus this on top and it just flows through there so in the greenhouse we just ordered you have pretty much the entire um, front of the of the greenhouse is the door we'll have to see how to fasten the plastic on there we'll probably get in touch with the manufacturer and see how we'll do it the best way there and I will keep you guys all updated on what we are going to use it for and um, it's really exciting to have that so a 10 
by four meter, four by ten meter greenhouse for when it's done. It's gonna have cost us about three hundred dollars. So that that's that's very cheap. That's very affordable. Hope you found this interesting, and I'm really looking forward to see how this is gonna develop over the over the season and in the fall. We'll see when we will use it actually. There is a lot of um, garden prep going on on the farm right now and uh, chicks growing and all of that. Stay tuned the next weeks for lots of more infos. I'm trying to do uh, good videos and keep up with that as we go here. So thanks for watching.